Let's take a look at some of the things that damages a child's self-esteem. Obviously, ongoing arguing and tensioning and tension in the home is quite a big one. And it's not always easy to be nice to each other and say things nicely. But please be aware of how your words and the effect of the energy between you and your partner can have on your child's self-esteem. Put downs and bad body language that's negative is also another one. When we roll our eyes, do think gestures like this as if we're giving up on them and using words that actually really put them down. And then, of course, insisting on perfection and comparing our children with others. Those two don't seem to be obvious, but we can often expect too much from them, especially at their developmental stage. So be careful of that one. When we compare them to their friends and their siblings, it generally doesn't help and more often than not has a negative effect on them. And then criticizing their actual character or abilities. Maybe they are slower than others and we call them slow coach or we, we can make kinds of com comments that actually are not useful um, in the long run and make them believe that they'll never ever achieve these things. Then we're looking at squashing their hopes, goals and dreams, uh, which goes a long way towards how they see themselves. And again, if they have a dream, maybe it's unrealistic, but let them work towards that dream. And as time goes on, they can come to changing the dream's quality slightly. Whereas if we keep saying you'll never be able to do that, it's uh, not helpful. Micromanaging is something that we sometimes do very unconsciously. We want to control and manage every aspect of their day or their future or what play dates they go to, um, who they see, how they're seeing them, how they do their homework. And this isn't giving them a chance to practice their own independence. So be careful for the, of that one. And then not allowing feelings and expression. I find this is quite common and it's not intentional again. But when we always want them to be happy, it doesn't allow them to experience sadness, difficulties and feelings of anger that are natural and need to be experienced and managed for the child to be able to keep developing in their self-esteem. Commenting only on mistakes or mistakes only is also obviously not good. And often we are very programmed in our minds to look for and point out what's negative. So I say give yourself a little uh, goal, a little challenge, and see how many things you can find today that are commenting on the, your child's positives. Then negative messages, threats and manipulations, as well as shouting and forcing children to do things your way, where these last ones are all the, the much more intense negative uh, damaging things that happen for a child's self-esteem. I hope you've liked this. You can subscribe or go and see more and my articles on www.raisingkidspositively.com.